Hey Legionnaires and welcome back, we're here with another part of our Attila campaign, playing as the Saxons. And in the last episode we did take a bit of Northern Thra France from the Romans, because I thought, well, we need to start doing some, uh, we need to start hitting them hard, we need to start taking their homeland, because the Romans, if we go on the uh, diplomatic map, still have most of their empire. They've lost a little bit over here to, like, Illyria, but that's about it. They're actually pretty strong still. I mean, they've lost Britain to me. I basically hold everything that they've lost. So we need to do some more work. So we're going to try and take most of Gaul for ourselves. And then we're going to try and move on to Italy. And then we'll see whether we carry on this campaign. If you guys are enjoying it, then I will carry it on. Because obviously I want to keep insane you guys during this time of uh, self-isolation. So I will just say I hope you guys are staying inside and staying safe and just doing your bit. To help us all out. I mean, I feel like I've obligated to say it a little bit but also we're gonna go for the Franks going back to going back to uh, the game I'm gonna go for the Franks and we're gonna take a uh, Flevum and Urbisis from a uh, well from the Franks basically and then we can come across the Rhine and we can unite our French lands with our German lands and make our kingdom whole but um, yes, if you're enjoying the Let's Play, please do leave a like, subscribe, and uh, comment if there's a, like anything you want me to do, like any advice you want me to give me, or just like you like go and take out the Scots or something like that, and I can maybe implement that. If the Scots give me a good reason to, I can I'll go and kill them. Um, and also, if you're wanting to like get involved in battles and possibly get on the uh, channel in like a replay or something. Then or send in a replay, and during this time of isolation and quarantining, then please do join the Papal Legion Discord. It's down below um, in the description, and you can get involved in some great battles. And you can uh, also send yours in, and you may feature on the channel. And that's always great if you do, I guess, for those of you that want to do that. Um, but anyway, less of the jibber jabber. Let's get on with this uh, let's play. And I think. Um, I was about to attack the yes. I was about to attack the Franks next turn. I could upgrade these guys. They're really expensive. Though. I don't know if I wanna. I actually oh they'll become light skirmisher cav. I don't really want my Javis to become cavalry. I'm sorry, but I'm not sorry. So we'll probably kick those Javis out eventually. Um, I think the plan is to go after what region is this part of? Oh, actually, this is part of two different ones. So I'll probably go for either Colonia Agrippa, Agrippina or Augusta Trevorum. Probably. For Augusta, because I don't really want to open up another border just yet, which then I need to defend with the Franks. So we'll end the turn, and we will see what happens. Because I've not really got much money. Um, here come the Picts with some spies, and the Caledonians are turning up. If I have to, I will take out some people. If I've got to take, if I've got to take out some people to unite my provinces, I will. Um, because it looks like the Caledonians are going to go for Colonia Agrippina, yeah, or whatever it's called. I'm not really a fan of that. And that gives me an excuse to kill them, I guess, in the uh, in Scotland as well. And I have some armies up there. Oh, it looks like the Romans are still dealing with dealing quite well down here in the south. They've got two pretty strong legions. It's pretty scary. And taking out Urbisis will mean I have a border with them. But it's a walled settlement. I'm pretty pretty happy with that. Pretty safe. Looks like the Macamans are going to just go for Argentorum instead. So they're going to go for actual parts of France. Um, I'm going to start converting this to sacred ground I think. What am I doing here? I actually am already doing that as well here. I'll make that assault deposit. That's left me with just enough money to do anything I want here. I'm going to make this a chieftain's house. Excellent, right. I'm going to just start my siege of Augusta Javorum I think. They can have um, this province if they want. I'm going to take as much of Gaul as possible but if other people start taking some but I'm not letting anyone have Colonia Grippiniana or whatever it's called. But anyway, we're going to start a war with the Franks as well. They all really like the Franks. I'm not too fussed about... Oh, if I call my allies in, it actually does. Everyone join though. That's good. That is good. Right, everyone joined. I'm going to send... This is a 15 stack. It's not quite ready. I'd like some cav before I really went out. Um, you can have... Let's see, let's put... You're my heir, so I'm going to put hostile agent like chances down. I'm also going to put... 
experience on for you and melee defense on that is excellent right can you get any good cav that I would definitely want to keep no you've got some well they're okay but they're a bit still expensive 250 um, I'm gonna go to the edge of the border here I'm gonna start my my march towards them I'm gonna recruit a load of cav that's all my money so that's all the cav I'm getting so we'll become a 17 stack that's not too bad um, what can I do? What do I really want to do? Could do foreign siege methods. Um, Nordic spears would be pretty heavy, better than Nordic levy. They would be handy. Um, let's go. Yeah, let's go for standardized equipment then. That could be pretty handy. Gives us some more buildings that we can use. So yeah, we're now sieging down two places. We've got another place. We're about to take out. Flevum could actually have a lot of troops, I have a feeling. But I'm not too worried about that. Tulliferdum. Well, this has actually been quite handy because Tulliferdum is not actually able to keep itself happy. So if we put like in a sacred um, ground or something like that, that would be really handy. What is the religion situation looking like? It is going up slowly, so that's great. Um, no, but my faction is not so great. We could do with certainly sort of now. Elsa, you can't upgrade anymore. I could do with, ha yeah, having a few of you guys. You can't even, like, adopt anyone. I'd like to adopt Hengist, because he's really, really good. Uh, end the turn? No, we won't. Because we've got some upgrading we need to do. So you can have food, and then you can also have... Um, what does cunning do for us? Maintenance, I guess. Cost, yeah. That's handy. It's all in the turn there. Defensive Alliance, and they're going to give us some money. Yeah, sure, we'll do that. I can ally up with the um, Irish, isn't it? It's the Irish, the Abdanians. That only leaves the Caledonians on their own. I mean, they are a tributary of... Ah, they're the Franks. They've just... What the heck are they doing? Okay, so the Franks have a fleet. Um, I'm going to fight this, because I think I can win this. So... Or I can certainly do enough damage. So I'll see you guys in a moment on the battlefield. Okay, so we are set up ready for this defense. I was planning on taking out their general while with just like sending this unit in to go and like kamikaze and we could have then beaten all these units. But I'm deciding I'm going to just defend instead. So I'm going to just land quickly. So we'll just do that. I'm going to fast forward because, okay, apparently you were facing the wrong way. Well, hurry up. Oh, this is brilliant, isn't it? Are you going to land now? Thank you. That didn't take long at all. So here we go. Let's just get you inside. You can't form shield wall, which is a shame. But you brave men, you will hold. If not, well, we've got an army that can come and deal with this problem. So that's fine. This is the first attack of the Franks. It's not the end of the world. We can deal with it. Off you go, little boys. Go and, I don't know, kill some men. Let's see whether they come and attack. Come on. Frankish Marines. These guys are probably the scariest unit, if at all, if there are any scary units. They're all small units as well, which is why I'm kind of hoping I can take these guys out. These are uh, Germanic Marauders as well. They're not too bad. Excellent. Right, let's see if you can deal with some stuff. Germanic Light Marauders. Yeah. Are they going to come in waves? I don't know. Our Archer Towers could be handy. Could burn, kill a few guys doing that. Well, I say that if they could shoot. Actually, they have hit. One poor, one poor guy got hit. Look at him. Poor man. Off he goes. Right. I could possibly kill that general. I don't know. Hmm. Could do general versus general. So see where we can hold there. Apparently we'd win that. Nordic heavy marauders. Wow, these are heavy. They're just Germanic marauders. They're just generic marauders. Okay. Okay, here they come, it seems. It's the first fight. Apparently we wouldn't win this fight. 
We'll see how much damage we can do. I was about to say that's the general unit but there, but it's not. This is the general unit over here. Yeah, this is the only problem is like this unit here. They are actually losing to the spear. The spear unit is losing. Oh, I was really hoping we could do some damage, but I don't know if we will. Maybe it was better going to try and kill the general. I don't know. We'll see. I needed a, a uh, missile unit. One missile unit would have done very nicely. Okay, they don't seem like they're interested in just fighting my... Oh, yeah, these spears are really trash. How are you losing to marauders? I mean, they are an exceptionally large unit, but... Like, come on. Oh, well. We'll speed this up. There's no need to see it. Uh, I thought we could do more damage. Whip them, I guess. Tower has been destroyed. Tower has been destroyed. How many men did they lose doing that? Not too many. They only have like 200 and something. They, so we can take this with a fl with my army that's just waiting. It'll be a one, one turn without an edict. Excellent. Kill as many as you can. Not even that many. We killed six of the Axemen. Jeez. Hopefully the tower's going to do a bit more damage. I mean, I say that. They're really not going to. These are light marauders. These guys are awful. Yeah, they would have broken. They would have broken really quickly, I imagine, as well. Oh well, yeah, they killed three men. Wow, and the 119 that axe unit got. Wow. Okay, I will see you in a moment. Back on the. Actually, no, it looks like it's going to load very nicely, so I won't bother with that cut. There we go. There we go. That's just going to happen. He may just raid. I imagine be a bit annoying if he did. We will see. Will he take it? No. Yep. I imagine that was going to be the case. He's just going to raid it. Well, I'm going to take your city, so that's that's a big oof for you. So I don't think they actually have a big army in their settlement. I could actually attack, and I could make them a horde. Excellent. I didn't really want the Franks to be anything but a horde. Screw the, screw the Franks. Oh, it looks like the Machamans are just going to raise up some rebels, some Gallic rebels, to annoy the Romans. They don't seem like they're too bothered about taking any land. And of course the Roman the Gauls turn up here. Excellent, right, so we can't de we can't defend that one. Didn't look like this place was under any chance of rebellion anytime soon, so that's brilliant. We will deal with this in time. There you go. Rebellion, brilliant. Okay, so there's gonna be a rebellion here. So you might as well move over here. And deal with that problem. There is also going to be food problems. Keep doing your thing. Um, I'll come back and deal with the Romans in a moment. Just kick him. Axe him. Dead. That's what we like to see. We lost the unit of Saxon Spears. I can live with that. Um, I could liberate. Give it back to the Alamans. And they'll become my military ally. But I'm going to occupy. I kind of want the uh, the resources they have. Gem deposit. That's nice. Gains uh, resources production of five. Ooh. Not, not many gems then. That's annoying. But um, I think I'm probably going to go for... Um, Flevum next. We're going to probably just deal with... Um, I don't know. Yeah, I think we could deal with these guys. Probably, there's probably not even an army here. Yeah, there isn't. Idiots. I can just make them a horde just like that. So the Franks are a horde. They just didn't defend their homeland. What the heck were they doing? Um, yeah, what were they doing for like... I've had to rebuild everything, which is annoying, I will admit. Uh, but I'm definitely better off than I was before. I don't mind losing this region because it's not actually part of... Um, this is part of, like, the region I'm taking. I could probably take a Gusta Trevorum now as well. And I'll go back and take these little settlements that have rebelled against me in a moment. Uh, we'll occupy... So expensive. If I looted these places, they had so much money. Knock it down. Uh, repair that. Knock it down. 
knock it down. There you go. And we have loads and loads of money now. Well, we will have loads and loads of money coming in. That's excellent. I couldn't ask for any more, really. And for some reason, the game's frozen. I do apologize. But while it's sorting itself out... Um, there we go. Doesn't, doesn't take anything. We'll just get back on with what I was going to do then. Uh, well, it looks like... Why are the, the Gauls so just get another army here? They just get a rebel... This is just rebel army. But it is the Gauls. Um, right. I think I'm going to recruit a few more troops over here. Oh, I can't afford any. Is this, this is the fleet, which can't strike anywhere and do any damage. Um, I could get some Nordic... Uh, I will get a Nordic Brigade, because... Extra unit could always help. Um, I would like to replace the... Oh, I can't actually get Saxon Spears here. But actually, I can. Saxon Spears are here. I will probably replace them. Or I could get a Nordic Axe Warband, actually. I would prefer to get one of them. So I'll probably spend my money on that. So we'll end the turn. And we will see what happens. They want me to join in a war against the Eastern Roman Empire. I'm okay with not being at war with the Eastern Roman Empire for now. There's no need for me to be at war with the Eastern Roman Empire. I'm not going to see them. Ah, and Britain did rise up in Calmadullum. So that's good. I'll take them out next turn. And the Franks are going towards uh, the Macamans, which is fine with me. And their fleet can just die in, that's, in that region, I guess. Can you have a horde? Can you have a... A fleet as a horde? I presume so. Unless they do have more land, the uh, Franks. I doubt they do, but they might do. The Geats are now doing their thing. The Romans are really well established in the south now, like in southern Germany, I guess you could call it. Ah, yes, and good to see the rebellion is uh, being dealt with by the Macamans. Thank you very much for that. I will now send my other army all the way back to, uh, well, this one all the way back to Juro. Or taught them where it is and go and take out the Gauls because I've had enough with them. No, we're not having peace. Not one chance. I'm going to take that rest of that land that you took from me. Oh, the Eastern Roman Empire is not doing so good. We've had a rebellion yet. Oh, what was that? Did we just get a mission? Mission issued. Construct a uh, following chain. Communal grounds. Uh, I can try. I can try. Kick him down. Axe him. Excellent. I do like that he's using an axe. Axe is just better than a sword. Well, it's not, but... I can believe it is. Um, We'll go back to Kalmadullum. Corinum can... Excuse me. I want to make Corinum... Uh, I think I want public order. I want a sacred grove. I also want... I could go for military, but I'm going to go for... Trade, jetty, help with the economy. Even our economy's just doing awesome now. I'm guessing the Franks must have another another house, another house, another. No, they don't. They are a horde, but with a fleet. That's so weird. I didn't think you could do that. But I guess I've just never seen horde with fleet. Uh, not that down. I'll rebuild everything here like, next turn. This that'll be my next job. That is fine. Um, can we get any money out of actually anyone? And then we could do it ourselves. The Macamans. Welcome. Um, let's we see. Make a tributary. Enemy. No, of course you would not say any. You would not say yes Welcome. to that. We lots of military allies. Lots of defensive allies. Um, picks. Would you like a better alliance? Friend, I've called for good aid. Ah, yes, they would. And they gave me money for that. I have money now. We All of a sudden. That, that's... I don't know how that worked, but okay. Trade. You, yes. I finally. I can get trade with these people. They'll finally honor. say yes. Moderate. I know you'll give me more. There we go. Defensive alliance. No, I didn't think that would be the case now. I've robbed you of all your money. Macedon, I can see. They don't like me. Well, I guess no one down here really likes me, even though they're attacking the same people. The Quarians, they're doing okay. These well guys done, well are at war with the Quarians, but I'm not... So I don't really want to help them out. Daisha is looking bare. 
What happened? What happened? A military military alliance, possibly? Yes. And they do. That's high. Let's get more money then. There we go. Right, you are at war with the Huns, but I don't care. We now have plenty of money to rebuild everything over here. Um, so we could actually convert this to a safe start, and I'm then could put in. What do we? Are you short on food? You are. So I'm going to put in a food, foody thing to help with that farmstead. Excellent. And can you recruit? Oh yeah, we can recruit that unit of Nordic axe warriors. I would like so desperately. Um, and they don't cost too much. I'm going to disband these and I'm going to replace them with the slingers I wanted. Excellent. Right, there we go. We're sorted. End the... Oh, no, we can't end the turn because you need something. You're a general and you have stuff for us to do. Right, I'm going to give you... I'll give you a legionary thing. I will give you... Um, public order. Because you're going to mainly be a garrison army. And you can have... Uh, campaign movement range I guess you can also have that and you can have cunning would help with stuff so you can have that end the turn I don't know why that's coming up why why are you insisting on showing me my objective you Ebdani is going to give me more money for a military alliance that's fine Let's see what... Okay, and the Burgundians are just going to carry on going south. That's fine. Um, okay, and the Franks have taken out the Macamans. I didn't see that coming. Well, they've not taken them out, but they've made them a horde. God damn it. <laughs> These Franks are just going to be a problem. I mean, now we can just send out the army from Urbazist to go and deal with it. So let's go and take, well, Kassigis, which is basically Prague for ourselves. Well, maybe we can't because the Romans are coming back. Interesting. Well, we should be fine on, like, the front against them. We could probably take them out. A full stack of us against a full stack of uh, Romans. I think we have a decent chance. Drunk on watch, eh? Someone drunk on watch? You. Okay, drunk on watch. This man was drunk and he was supposed to be on watch. The watering down of our elite troops with these bumpkins seems to have been the main cause. Um, Let's flog him. I don't really want decimation, because then we could kill some of our own elite men, if there is so such a thing. Um, I'm going to... Ooh, I don't know. How is it looking here? It's actually looking okay. Oh, and yes, Flevum does have, like, really good stuff. Excellent. I could might put in... I'm going to put in a bone carver for now. Um, that will be really helpful. Hunting lodges would also be quite handy. I don't really need it though. Urbazis. 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 I don't know. One or the other. I really want Hearthguard. So I'm just going to save up for that I think. Or not save up. But I'll be going for that. Um, on that chain anyway. Uh, Ereglia. I'd like to get. Well, I don't know. I don't think I need it. Really just yet. Um don't really want anything there. What about this province? I could do with having a Chieftain's Hall, I think. I could massively help. What could Britain get? Britain could get some stuff. It could actually upgrade all of its stuff here as well, but it's actually doing okay. Britain is fairly stable. I mean, it's minus one currently, but we can sort that out quite easily. I think. Yeah, we could certainly sort that out. Meeting halls. Excellent. Why can we not build... A second chain down here then. That's interesting. Hmm. Okay, so Gaul is building an army up. I'm not going to let them do that. I'm going to just build this with the 3,000 3, as well. I will assault. They've got Limitai, Limitani. Pretty easy. We should make this an easy auto resolve. Yep. Yeah. Decisive. We will occupy. I'm not going to subjugate these guys. We'll rebuild that. We'll rebuild that. And there you go. So now he is. Hengist is even stronger. You can have. That's Horde. I'm not really interested in that. Though I do need. Hmm. 
I'll go for that to that because I would like replenishment and what was the other one? There was another one there. Replenishment and upkeep cost. That could help. Right, what's this army made up of? Oh, it's made up of Western Palatina. Western Auxiliary Palatina. They are a tough nut to crack. We definitely need to replace half of this like Nordic brigade if we were to fight them. Hmm. Yeah, I'm not so inclined to just get involved in that just yet. You could go for Clonia Agrippiana. It is only minus 14, which actually will make it put it at a rebellion. Hmm. Yes, we've, we're probably expanding a little bit too quickly, but I mean, we're getting to that point that we can. I could just raise another army and just put them into garrison it. Um, is always an option. I have these three main as my main field armies. I have two garrison armies. Um, that could always work. This is going to be three turns off being a, a Nordic place now, so that'll be great. Then we nearly got all of Britain converted to the right way, the right way of living. Um, yeah. In, in, oh, 1,700, uh, 7,000. No, thank you. Hmm. I think I'm going to just... Um, I might just end the turn. We're in a pretty safe spot. These, This guy here can cover both these provinces if there's a rebellion. Though, we can't actually probably defend this place if there's a rebellion. <laughs> That's not so good. Uh, yeah, end the turn. The picks, I have no idea what they're doing. Doing a tour of Britain, it would seem. Let's find out what's around this part of the island. Oh, more Saxon land. Yeah, they must be, like, going south to, like, take out some of um, Britain themselves. Oh, not Britain. Um, Gaul themselves. The Geats have must... I don't know what they're doing as well. They have huge armies that they could send out. Jeez, they have, like, one, one place. I, mean, I know it's a walled city, but, like... They have a lot of armies. I mean, the AI must cheat, or it's just spamming out really a lot of rubbish. Like, one or the other. Here come the Western Romans. They are actually just going to garrison there. I'm fine with them doing that. They couldn't really attack us from where we were. They could attack us at Augusta Trevorum, though. They'd have to siege it out for a turn, I think. Unless they had a um, any siege equipment. And the Ro <laughs> and they just attacked the Romans. What? Okay, so we could. This place is imminent of a rebellion. I'm gonna send this place in here to defend it. Rontomagus can now can get its salt deposit again. It can also get. Um, do I want to do this? And then I can get garrison. Can I get garrisons? It's just gonna unlock recruitment. It's not actually gonna be any garrisons. That's interesting. Um. Hmm. Public order would be great. I don't think that's really going to help. Like, why is this hating me so much? Immigrants. Okay. Bit. Immigrants, that's just a bit judgmental, isn't it? I guess. <sighs> um. God, what can you do? What can you do these days? People complaining about immigration. Right, we'll put in a chieftain's house. Macedon and the Visigoths are at war. Okay, that's not my problem. Um, and I could just take Colonia Agrippiana. I could. This place is very is getting more happy, but it's only because my army is here. I could really do with I don't know what what am I going to be able. To, I guess I could change this from growth to public order bonus from Germanic paganism. Um, like yeah, that would actually be that's not a bad idea. Um. Right, and then what else can we do? This is going up plus three now because of, well, army being here and stuff like that. So that's fine. What have you... I don't know, not know what you've got. But Aug I mean, at least... Augusta Trevorum can't really defend itself. Urbazis sort of can. And will continue to be able to. So I will move on. Move to here. 
That's okay. Vindelacorum's not got a big army. Can't really defend against us. The Franks are still down here. What are they doing? Franks are all over the place. I really would like to go for these guys. We'll go for the Franks here as well. That's not going to happen anytime soon. Uh, and the Venadians are here. Blooming heck. They are like all over the place. Are they like they must be huge. Yeah, they are. They've snaked all their way to like. I guess sort of Germania. Germania. Jeez. Okay. Well, right, well I've, they're a problem. Or becoming a problem. Because they're like Slavic. So they don't like us at all. They're an entirely different culture again. Um, you're going just like that. That's fine. I, I'm going to end the turn one final time. And we'll see what happens. In this end turn, I imagine not much payment. Oh, they really want payment for military access. I'm not, not going to give it to you. I don't really want you landing on my land, especially if you're just going by sea and you're just going to go after places. Very bizarre. Onwards, you fools, you British fools. The proper British, you could you could say, because they've been like there since, like, whenever. What are the Geats doing? They keep sending out their fleets and their armies, and then they just turn around and go, no. I've changed my mind. Okay, the Geats. Well, I am allied to the Geats, so they shouldn't just out of nowhere attack me. Scummy if they did. I might take Colonia Agrippiana next turn just to uh, secure that province for myself because then I can put an edict in I can convert it to um, my religion which is Germanic paganism and it's going to have to stay like that by the looks of it because Latin's not going high enough for me which is no surprise Judea, I just can't get over Judea being in this game either okay so it looks like look densis, which is this part the world is going to also rebel, I'm going to put in a military jetty here I think so we can get better. Oh, actually, I don't know. That's a lot of money I'm just putting down the drain on something that I don't really need just yet. I'm going to take a Colonia Grippiana. Okay. Can we go across? Thank you. Take that for yourselves. Execute him. Chop him down. Very nice. I'm going to occupy. Ready for battle. And then, let's see, can we convert Rontomagus? I doubt it. It's probably going to cost a lot more. Yes, I did think so. Um, let's, let's knock down that. Let's knock down that. And let's knock down that. Excellent. Right, so we'll do that. Um, August, yeah, I'd like to actually get a bit more money so I can see if I can convert another one of these provinces to, like, well, Greetings. like one of their settlements. Now speak plainly. Oh, we are... Yeah, I'm not too fussed about getting a non-defensive alliance with you. Military access? You, sure. Yeah, you could definitely we have that if you wanted it. Good food, a warm fire. Yep, that's the most expensive military access I've ever given out. So that's 6,000. I don't know if that's going to be enough to... No, I didn't think so. But can we now put in a chappy for an edict? I'd like to also see if I can adopt you. I can't adopt you. You have too much. So we could adopt you. You're a governor. You're a governor. You're also a governor. And you are a general. I will adopt you, sir. Horsa. You're 41. This general is... <laughs> this guy's 47. Oh, I'd really like to have got this guy on my side, but... Oh, well. Um, could you adopt him? Ah, no. Because you also do not have enough influence. Um, wait a minute. I can make you a judge. I don't really want to make you a judge, but I can make you a companion. So we'll do that. We'll make you a companion. Um, where else could we go? Travorum. See if we can get more money. Let's actually let's do technology first. I could do master of terrain. I'm gonna do community markets. I think because that would help. It allows us to get better ports. Um, we can also get a better trade depot, and it gives us three percent extra for commercial buildings. That's always good. Let's see if we can do one final rip off on. I look forward to your wisdom. Yes, I did think but we could. You will not we could rip you off a little bit more, get some more money out of you. Yep, there we go, nine hundred. Can we now convert one of these? We could now. Um, Duracorum would be the one I'd like to do, or I could just convert Rontomagus. It's going to take eight turns. 
Hmm. If I do run to Magus, then I can secure this whole area here. For a long, long time. Oh, how much if I did that one? 9,000. Oh. Um. No, we're fine. I'll just put you into there. You can reach there next turn anyway. And this guy can definitely reach there. So if there's a rebellion there, we can retake that in no time at all. Um, you can do integrity within allied territory, and you can have that one for women. Actually, yeah, let's change that. Let's do that one so we can get like down to fighting Romans. That's good. And that's probably where we're going to have to wrap up this episode, guys. So I hope you've enjoyed I do apologize that it wasn't a battle this turn or this episode. Well, the sort of was. It was like a little engagement over here, but it wasn't really a proper one. Hopefully, in the next episode, we can get a good proper battle, maybe against one of these big legions over here. I could possibly mobilize like these two armies. I could probably go and take them out. It would be very interesting to see. But if you've enjoyed, please do leave a like and subscribe, and leave a comment if there's any recommendations that you have that you want me to try and do in this Let's Play. Um, but until next time, Legionnaires, bye.